Hey everyone, welcome to Stock Trader Jack. Today we're going to look at how to calculate MACD inside of Google Sheets. And so the first thing we're going to need is the stock's price. This is luckily a pretty easy formula to put in. I included if error, just keep it clean. But the most important part is the Google Finance part. This is the beginning of the formula. I put B2, this is just the dynamic stock ticker. The next is all, which means I want to see all this, and then the dates. So the beginning date, this is the early date, the late date, and then um, I want to see the daily chart on this. Now the cool thing about having it reference to a cell is if I want to change it to like say carnival, then it'll change to carnival. If I want to change it to, we'll do zoom, then it'll just pull those right up. So I'm going to go ahead and actually just take that back to Apple. So now I've got the chart all the way from December 24th, 2019 to today. It actually will go up to yesterday, the most recent close. I actually recommend doing this. Just go down to the bottom and add in today. And then you can also get the price open by doing this formula, Google, and then use your reference cell, quotation, price open, end quotation, high, low, price this just means the current price or in other words the one it's going to close at and you know the one that it's at right now then volume and that way you have everything up to the most recent trade so now we'll let's go ahead and create some indicators I just put these on a separate sheet excellent okay so this is where I'm actually going to calculate MACD um, before I get into this I'm actually going to show you what MACD looks like on like a broker so you can kind of see this in action I'm going to take over to Webull this is a free broker I use that means it's a sweet deal of not having to pay commissions whenever you trade. So on my chart, I have my MACD at the very bottom. This uses moving averages of the price. And that's where we're going to show you how to calculate it. Okay, with that, let's go ahead and swivel back to Google Sheets. You notice I've actually got these five columns set up, which I'm going to go ahead and lead into. You guys will also notice on the left, I've got Apple's prices, the date, open, high, low, all that. So I'm going to go ahead and start on the 15-day EMA. This is exponential moving average, which basically means we're going to average about 15 days worth of prices at the close. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and bump myself down about 15 spots. And then in this cell, I'm going to go average, F4 to F18, which is this column. And we're using close because that's the price that it closed at on this day. 50-day uh, EMA, we're going to need to go even further down. So we're going to jump all the way down to 53. This column is still going to be column F, or the close, but I'm going to use a much larger range. I'm going to use 50 day. The next column over is going to be the MACD itself. So MACD, between the 15 day and the 50 day EMA, this is the difference. And I'm going to calculate that by going I53 minus J53. And that'll either give me a negative or positive number. All right, next thing over, we're going to move over to the signal. Signal is also really easy. It's just basically an average of 10 days of MACD. Last is histogram. Um, this is usually those bars that you'll see at the bottom of your MACD and some people want to include them. In order to calculate that, we're going to minus the MACD from the signal. And that'll give us our histogram. And I drag that all the way down to the bottom. And then after that, we're just going to go ahead and graph this sucker, which is fantastically easy. We're just going to use the MACD and the signal column. So I'm going to go ahead and find where those both start and I'm just going to highlight that all the way down to the bottom. So just drag that all the way down, highlight, and then we're going to go up to insert chart. And that's it. Check it out. We've got our MACD that we just calculated all nice and graphed. And that is it. If you have any questions, just drop them below in the comments. Other than that, you are all set. For more cool stuff about stock trading, check out StockTraderJack.com. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button.